Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today we are trying our hand at a pair of Cole Haan dress sneakers. Now these were sent to us by a family friend. He was a flyer with our dad in the Air Force, call sign Miyagi, and um, he had no request for these. Uh, I mean, like nothing specific, he just said, he sent them down. Yeah, he sent them up to us and said, you know, do what you can. Yeah, so we don't really have an idea of what we're going to do. We're going to go out and look at all our supplies and things and just try to come up with an idea and make it look good. So, yeah. so anyways, let's head out to the shop and see what we can do to this pair of Kohans. Okay guys, before we start taking the shoe apart, I just want to kind of show you guys something because we get this question all the time. Okay, a shoe like this is completely cement constructed, which means everything is just glued together at the factory. Now, we're going to try to reuse this well. It's in good shape and I don't, you know, having to replace it just is an added cost to the customer. So we're going to have to try to get this foam off of this well in a manner that keeps the well in place. So one of the questions we get asked a lot is, is it worth it to have it resold? Well, in this case, I mean, with it being a cement constructed shoe, they're not the easiest shoes to be resold and cement constructed that is. And you know, yeah, pretty much anything is possible, but sometimes there are shoes that it's probably just not worth it and it might be best to go buy another pair. And in this case, this might be one of them. Okay guys, so I have the crepe sole off of here and like I said, in order to keep this welt attached and not move at all, I cut it a little short. And now what I'm gonna do is just take the sanding belt and just try to remain or uh, try to take off the remainder part of this crepe and then we'll be good to go. Okay, since we're putting white crepe soles on part of this, I want to go ahead and saddle soak these shoes now without risking getting the white crepe dirty. And we're going to try to clean these stitches up as well. So let's do that, condition the shoes, and then we'll continue on from there. All right, so we have got this leather midsole. We try to use as many natural products as we can. And since this is gonna have a lot of synthetic materials, which is gonna be held on by cement, we wanna try to have something in here that's gonna um, bond it to the upper. So we're gonna put a little stitch on this portion and then we use this as the foundation for all of our synthetic cement.
right, so as we mentioned, these are buddies, and uh, we're just trying to think, what can we do to have fun with this and get creative? So we're thinking a splash of color. Okay, guys, we are done with the resole. Last thing we're going to do, just a completely basic condition and shine. We're not going all out for these uppers. Again, this is just a friend shoe and he just, you know, want to resole basic condition. So I did want to point out though, there are a couple of like really deep, you know, water spots there and there, at least I'm assuming they're water spots. They've been there for a really long time. I tried using a couple of products on there to get it out. It, it isn't coming out right now. So again, not much else. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it, but let's just get these conditioned and they'll be ready to get. All right, I'm just taking this conditioner, rubbing it into all the surface area of the uppers. Just wanna get a lot of oils back into that leather and that'll help them last a lot longer. Okay guys, if I, I don't know if I've told you before, but for you people that have not seen any other videos, what I like to do, especially if you have a pair of shoes that on the welt you have white stitches or a very light color stitch, and you don't want to get shoe polish on that, trust me, I see a lot of you guys sending us shoes and you guys get your polish all over the stitches. So what you can do is use like a neutral color cream, which has no color pigment, and we're gonna put that all around the outside edge of the shoe where you have the light color stitches. That way it keeps the shoe nice and shine and hydrated, but you don't color up those stitches. Then I will use a darker color to kind of touch, you know, parts of the shoe that are okay to use. So anyways, just wanted to let you know what we're doing here. Okay guys, we are back. We have finished up this pair of Cole Hans. But before we show you what we have done, just a quick reminder, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. It does help the channel out and it helps this video to be pushed out to other folks and it just helps the channel grow. Also, if you really like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we drop a video. Also, if you're looking for shoe care products, if you want to mail your shoes into us, whatever it may be, check out both of our websites, potterandsons.com and southernpolish.com. They will be down in the description box below. Heath, what have we done? All right, so these things just had a glued on foam white, very soft, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. um, one piece sole, and uh, it had a separate welt, but these things were just almost like melted onto the shoe. So we had to completely like kind of slice that down, sand it down. And then we said, let's use some like really, really soft crepe, use some different colors, textures. We did go with the leather midsole right against that welt because you know how we are. We like to use natural products. And, and it holds better. better. It does, it does. Yeah. It's gonna hold better and the way we can stitch it. And then that stitch thing will give it a very strong base to start stacking. So we went with different colors of crepe. And uh, then you get that little strip of midsole that we just weren't sure what to do and then yeah. he thought this guy is from alabama he is a bama fan big crimson tide yeah. fan so. so we uh were able to get that into kind of an, an alabama crimson color yeah so so yeah uh and you know like a lot of people ask was it worth it you know how much were those shoes how much did it cost in this case guys i mean it it really you know these shoes may have not been worth the price of the resole uh these shoes really are not made to be resold you know they can be but this is just one of those cases, like we say, you know, over and over again, you know, if you really like the shoes and you want to keep them and you want a shoe cobbler to redo them for you, hey man, that's your decision and, and let those guys have fun with it. Um, you know, if you want to throw them away, throw them away. But anyways, uh, I think they turned out great. Hopefully he'll be rocking these at the next, you know, Alabama game and, uh, you know, he'll have lots more wear out of them. Yep. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it again. Thanks so much for following until next time. Y'all have a good one.